Hi, this is Amy Sargent doing outreach and education for the CCDC. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mercury to generate a simple molecular view. Let's get started. Open Mercury by clicking or double clicking on the icon. Once the program is open, you will see a list of entries in the Structure Navigator on the right hand side of the window. For this example, we'll be looking at a cisplatin derivative. To bring up this molecule in the viewer, type its ref code in the Structure Navigator box. The ref code we'll be using is CCXAPT. Once you type the ref code in the box, the molecule will display in the Mercury Viewer window. Left click the mouse button and drag around the screen to rotate the molecule. You may notice that this molecule is symmetric. In fact, only one half of this molecule is crystallographically unique. To understand what I mean, tick the box next to asymmetric unit in the lower left of the Mercury window. Now you can see that half of the molecule has disappeared. The atoms shown now are the crystallographically unique part of the crystal structure. Untick the box to view the whole molecule again. To generate the view I show here, find the Manage Styles drop-down box and choose Publication. We can experiment by choosing other styles from this menu to see how the view changes. For example, Work gives a wireframe with a black background, and Presentation gives a ball and stick view with a yellow background. If you want to keep the white background but choose a different style for the atoms and bonds, choose Publication and then use the Style menu to choose the atom style you like. For instance, Wireframe, or Capped Sticks, or Space Fill. When you're done, return to Ball and Stick. You might find that the white platinum atom doesn't stand out against the white background. To change its color, right-click on the platinum atom and choose Colors, Purple. You can choose any color on the list that you prefer. To change the colors of multiple elements at a time, use the Element Colors option dialog. To access this option, right-click on any atom and select Colors, Element Colors. Here you can see the periodic table of elements as they would be displayed in various colors. Click on any element to adjust its color. When you've selected the color you like, press OK, and then close the Element Color Options dialog. To return to the default publication view, simply select Publications from the Manage Styles drop-down menu. We'll return to a purple platinum atom by right-clicking on the platinum atom, choosing Colors, and then Purple. In addition to simple rotation, you can use shift, click, and drag to rotate the molecule in the plane of the screen, or control, click, and drag to translate the molecule in the plane of the screen. At any time, you can press the reset button to return to the original orientation. If you want to create your own style type, you can access the Style Manager dialog by clicking on the Manage Styles button. An easy way to get started is to copy an existing style and edit it. Click the Publication style and then click Copy. Enter a name for your style in the dialog box. Click OK when you're done. Now choose your style from the Style Manager and double click it. This will bring up the Style Setting dialog. Here you can change the way the atoms are viewed, element colors, and other settings. To change the size of the labels, click Display Options, and then in the Display Options dialog, click Labels. Here you can change the label color, the label size, and the label font. When you're done making your changes, click Close. Click OK to save your changes in the Style Setting Manager when you're done, and now you can access your style from the Manage Styles drop-down menu at any time. See? Here it is. Now you know how to use Mercury to generate simple molecular views and to save your style preferences. Happy visualizing!